Hi everyone, and welcome to part two of the speed build for Azalea Court, which is this house that I'm making The Sims 3 after having not made a speed build in The Sims 3 for a very long time. So in this part, we are gonna be finishing the rest of the furnishing for the house because last time we did the outside and a little bit of the furnishing, so we still have to furnish all the bedrooms as well as the basements. So we are starting off with the master bedroom, which has a fairly neutral color scheme. There are some light greens mixed in, like what's on the bed, but other than that, it's pretty neutral and it's just a lot of beiges. I don't know, I tend to do that kind of a thing with a lot of master bedrooms, whereas like with the kids' bedrooms, I tend to go a little more colorful, but that color scheme came about because I took out that bed and I was just looking through the color swatches that it comes with by default, like the, you know, like the three or so that you can choose from. And I actually really liked how that one looked. Like a lot of the swatches that are like original colorings of the items that come with the game, I don't like, but there are a few that I actually really like. So I just work with that. And then across from that, we have that big old wardrobe and then a vanity. And I forgot that this game did have vanities in it, but I don't think they actually function as vanities. I'm pretty sure they're just dressers that are made to look like vanities because um, there isn't any space underneath it to put a chair under. So yeah, I'm pretty sure they weren't functional, but it's been a while since I put those to use, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And oh yeah, I did swap that out because I feel like it didn't quite suit the room. But before I did that, I did actually save the swatch for the countertop that was on it because I don't think that was something that was in the stone category, but I just like to save those patterns like that, that I see that I actually like. So there are some patterns on the items that you can't find in the catalog. So whenever I see those, I do try to save them for future use. Cause I was thinking that that would be something that would be really useful for a counter future build. Like, oh, maybe I'll use that as a counter for my let's build because I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for that once I get to the kitchen. So uh, yeah, I'll probably see how that looks there. I remember back when I had the Sims 3 installed on my old computer, I just had like all these swatches shit saved because I just spent so much time building and all that that game building in that game. So I just saved a whole bunch of them over time, like swatches I would frequently use. But in this game, I have like one swatch saved, and I think it was like some kind of wood swatch. So I still have to build up that catalog of save saved swatches. That's a save swatches is a really hard thing to say for some reason. But uh, anyway, we are getting pretty close to being done with this room, just getting a chair there in the corner, just to fill up the space, because I wasn't really, wasn't really sure what else to put in there. So now we are moving on to the bathroom, which is really large. Like I was thinking originally about making part of it like a fake walk-in closet, but that's really useless for the game. So I thought it'd be better to just make a bigger master bathroom and put like a separate bathtub and separate shower in, although, that's kind of useless. Well, actually, no, it's not really useless. Like, it's about the same usefulness as if I were to put in a shower tub combo, but I mean, it's, yeah, it's not completely useless to have the two separate. And that is something you see a lot in real master bathrooms. So I just wanted to do that here, you know, just to go with the realism a little bit and help make it feel a little bit more luxurious. But yeah, I just, uh, yeah, something I always got frustrated with this in this, in, frustrated with in this game was just the tile selection. Because, uh, yeah, as you see here, I did what I did in the kitchen where um, I think I actually use the same tile that I used in the kitchen, but I just recolored. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what I did, which isn't really my favorite look for the bathroom, but I just wanted to have some tile walls. Although I'm pretty sure later on what I did was I just left it tiled in the area where the bathtub and shower is, and then through the rest of the bathroom, it's just regular paint, which I think did end up looking a lot better. Like, I just... Like, I don't really like the look of having tile all over the bathrooms in a house. I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of tile it is, but like in my, well, actually in my, my real life house, I do have tiles in the bathroom. So yeah, I guess I shouldn't say in my real houses, I would never want to have tiles in the bathroom, but it's not like whole tile. It's like um, half, like half the walls paint and then half the walls tile. And then it's not even like all the walls are like that. Um, there are a few walls that are just plain paint. So it's not completely... Um, so yeah, it is fine in bits, like if it's mixed with regular paint, but I just don't like full on floor to ceiling tile walls and bathrooms. Although I guess maybe it's like practical in some way, but I still just don't like the look. I mean, I guess maybe it's that it like feels a little too sterile to me in a way. Maybe that's what it is. I think I'm just about done with this bathroom though. I started on some things on the other side of the house and then realized that maybe we should go back and tweak the bathroom a little bit more because I just wasn't completely happy with it, like I said. So here I was trying to see how it would look if I just used plain paint, and I thought it was a little too plain if I used only paint, and then it was too busy if I used tiles. So here was where I decided to just mix it a little bit. And I wanted to put a column on the wall separating where it was paint from where it was tiled, but 
it didn't really line up quite right, so I just stuck it on the other side of the half wall instead, which I think looked really ni nice. Like, I thought that separated the tub area from the rest of the bathroom in a nice way and added a little bit of extra detail. And for this bathroom, I ended up just copying the same color scheme, like the same wallpaper, same flooring, because I just, I don't know, I was, I was feeling kind of lazy with the bathroom, so I just wanted to make it easier on myself and just do the same thing because I actually furnished this whole house in one sitting, which I probably should not have done. Like I probably should have taken a break and I did take some breaks. Like I took some slight like five or 10 minute breaks, but for whatever reason, I was really determined to just do all the furnishing in one night, even though I was tired and I just come home from work and probably should not have done that. But I think it still turned out fairly decently even though I did that, like once I got warmed up and like really got into furnishing, it did go by a lot quicker. But we are done with the hall bathroom as well. So now we're on to the kids' bedrooms or actually one of them is like more of a teen's room than the other one I imagined as more of a child's room. Oh, but first here was the point where I realized that I should probably add some more pet related items in because I had the food bowl. Yeah, I think I talked about this in the last part, but yeah, I had the food bowl and I thought, hmm, they should probably have some other stuff for pets in this house than that. So we just got some toys, a scratching post. I put a litter box in the, the laundry area. I think I've already done that. And then I also added a pet bed into the master bedroom. And other than that, I don't think I really stuck anything else in. Yeah, I think that was about it. So now we are working on the teen room, which ended up having this orange or blue color scheme, which I really liked because they are complementary colors. So I just feel like it went well together. So we got this kind of bright orange and then this brighter blue. And I just think it looks really nice together. And I imagine this room for be as being for someone who is maybe a little bit of an overachiever because I believe I had a wall decoration. Like um, I had some of the wall decorations from university or universe. Was it in university life in the Sims three? I think it was. Um, so anyway, we had the one from that that I, I believe I put on the coloring where it was like debate team, like um debate team pictures and like of the trophy and stuff like that. And the other one I had was like of a football, like something relating to football or sports. So I imagine that it was like someone who they were on the, de the debate team and they also played sports. Like there's someone who just kind of, yeah, this thing. Yes, I left on that one. And then I think I put a football poster on the other side. And then we got all this college stuff all over the place. So... I just imagine as someone who was really evolved in their school, like within different clubs, like they did the debate team, they played sports and they're also really excited to go to college and they have like their favorite college picked out. So it's someone who's kind of an overachiever and is really ambitious and just has this, this future planned out for themselves. Like they have an idea of where they want to go and what they want to do and all of that. And I just really like this room and how it, it came together. And I know I was saying something um, like a while back about wanting to, like I talked about this, about wanting to make households to go with my builds, but I don't think I'm gonna do that with Sims 3 builds because honestly, I don't really enjoy creating Sims in the Sims 3 as much as I do in the Sims 4. Like I was never very good at it. I didn't really like the whole slider system very much. So yeah, I think I'm gonna skip that for Sims 3 builds. Uh, but yeah, okay, yeah. So there was that sports one that I stuck up there and we're just trying to fit in a few more posters around that. But uh, when I was building this, I was really missing the ability to hold down alt and then move paintings and posters and stuff side by side and put them wherever because that's just so useful to have. But we are done with that room. So now we're moving on to this room, which I imagine is more of a kid's room, but maybe an older kid, like a kid who's just about to age up into a teen because it's not like a super super childish room, but there are some toys and stuff around. Um, but I did make this really bright green, which I know is kind of an obnoxious color, but I thought it worked for kids' room because kids' rooms tend to have bright colors and, you know, choices of wallpaper or paint or whatever that you may possibly regret later in life. Although I don't think this is exactly a, a color that's super regrettable. Like I don't, I don't like, I, when I was younger, I don't think I would have ever picked this kind of a color for my room. But I mean, this is something that isn't as regrettable as like other choices you can make. Like when I was eight years old, my my parents were like redoing the paint in my room and I got to pick it. So I picked like pink with unicorn border and my mom asked me if, you know, she's like, whatever you pick, you're gonna have to deal with it until you're a teenager. So you gotta be sure that like when you're 16, you're gonna be fine with pink and unicorn wallpaper. And I said, yeah, sure. I'm totally gonna love pink and unicorns when I'm 16. And uh, yeah, that did change. But fortunately we moved out of that house so I didn't have to deal with that. I feel like I've, I've said that before in a speed build. 
I don't know. If I have, it's been a while, so whatever. But, but yeah, um, fortunately, I didn't have to live with that choice. And then when we moved into the other house, I fortunately made a choice that was a, was a little bit easier to live with as a teenager. But my brother wasn't so fortunate because when they repainted his room, he was going through this skater punk kind of a phase. So he wanted skate written all over his walls but he wanted it spelled SK8 with an asterisk at the end of it. I don't know what the asterisk was for, if it had some meaning or if it was just there to be cool, but he wanted that written all over his walls at different angles. So I think on like two of the walls in his room, it was just like all over the walls. And I mean, he thought it was cool at the time, but then when he got older, he ended up just regretting it and not wishing he had made that choice. But uh, I think we're getting fairly close to being done with this room. Um, I did go through and brighten things up a little bit at the end because I had that black wood on the bed and the dresser. And I just realized that for a kid's room that felt a little too dark. Like I felt like it needed to be a little bit brighter to work. I think I also toned down the green on the walls a teensy bit, but I still left it fairly, fairly bright. But um, yeah, I thought those last minute changes did make a pretty big difference or like a, a pretty nice difference in that room made it look better because... At that point, I wasn't really that happy with how that room was coming along. I think that's definitely my least favorite of the bedrooms in the house. And there is actually another bedroom down the basement. I, I can't remember if I mentioned in the last part or not. But uh, yeah, it is that room all the way on the very end. And then as you come down the stairs, there is a hangout area with a pool table and all that. Like that's just a perfect thing to do with a basement. Like that's what basements are so useful for. So we just have the pool table there. We've got a couch I can sit at and some lights around and all of that so they could see better. And then the rest of the basement, I just used as like a kid's play area because there unfortunately wasn't a lot of room to store toys in the kid's room. So I just stuck a bunch of them down in this room. And I really like that this basement is a walk-up basement because it does actually let some natural light into this room because yeah, otherwise, like if you do the, you know, the basements the way you're technically supposed to, then you don't get any light like this. And there was also a way you could have windows in the basement, but it was just basically you would have to kind of, it's it's hard to explain. It's hard to explain like just, you know, with words, but um, basically you have to lower the ground so it's down to, you know, level with the bottom of the wall. And then you have to remove the foundation, put a regular wall in, put the window in, then you have to make use some kind of fence to make something that looks like a window well either that or you put a bunch of plants in front of it to cover it up because you will end up with a really sharp slant in the ground to do that i don't think that really made a whole lot of sense but i'll probably you know like maybe i'll do that in a future build and and then you can see it there but um i have done that in the past and i probably should have done that in this build at least in the bedroom that's to the side so it feels a bit less like a cave but here i'm working on that play area that i was talking about so i just kind of quickly Stuck a bunch of toys down here. There's not really much to it. Oh, and then also in addition to the bedroom, there is a bathroom down here and an office because there wasn't really a whole lot of space upstairs for a computer, like a computer for the parents or like a lot of skill building items and all that. So I just had this room down here where I crammed a bunch of skill building items. And originally I was going to have two bathrooms down here because um, you might have caught that there was a little two by three room off at the end of the, the bedroom, which you can kind of still see where it's flat from where it was, but I got down to the basement and I was tired. So I just pulled that in and I was like, nope, we're not furnishing two bedrooms down here. And we do not need to, or not two bedrooms, but two bathrooms. And um, we didn't need that anyway. And I was just, by the time I got here, I was just not really in the mood to furnish two more bathrooms. So uh, yeah, we just closed, just closed that off because I figured it wasn't really necessary anyway to have what was kind of like a second master suite down the basement. Like I felt like that was just better left as empty space. So here I'm working on the bathroom that's down here. And once again, I just used the same colors and stuff from the upstairs bathroom, just because I just did not feel like really thinking about the bathroom. But I think that's fine, you know, because sometimes like people will redo multiple bathrooms at the same time and they'll just end up using like the same tiles, same counters, same countertops in the bathroom so i think it is realistic in a sense but i'm really i'm just trying to justify how lazy i was with that here but oh well it's fine like I, I i think it looks nice like i liked what i did with this bathroom so i just felt like continuing to do that but right now we are working on the study so so far we have a computer we have a painting easel and a little mat with um some paint spotter underneath it as well as a bookshelf and then we've got a chair over here and i'm um, actually like the stripe pattern on this one so that's just kind of like a little reading nook for them to sit in and i also added in a pull-up bar um just because they're like i felt kind of bad that there wasn't really any exercise equipment anywhere else and that was something small that i could easily 
They didn't, so I don't know. They're working out their computer. They feel like taking a break, so they just go and do a few pull-ups and then go back to their work. Although, pull-ups are ridiculously hard. Like, that's something I've been working on recently because, like, with exercising, I've always neglected doing pull-ups because I just could never really do one, but I've been making it a mission to get better pull-ups. I still can't do, like I could do maybe like one pull-up unassisted, but I've, I've been having to use a um, an assist band, which is basically just like a band you loop over at the pull-up bar and then you put your foot through it. So it kind of like takes some of your body weight so you're not pulling up quite as much weight. So I've been having to use that, but I am like making it a goal of mine to be able to do multiple pull-ups without using the assistant band. Um, so hopefully I can get there. Like it is really hard to, like if it's not something you've worked on in the past, it is really hard to get to the point where you can do that, but I'm getting there. Like I'm getting a lot stronger with it. I'm, I've been noticing that I've been improving a lot with that, but anyway, we're on to the last bedroom, which is something I imagine as being a bedroom for maybe a teenager, maybe young adult. No, I think, I think I see it as more so being for a teenager, like for the oldest kid and I don't know they just wanted to be down in the the basement by themselves I guess and uh, this bedroom has kind of a rocker vibe to it like with the the checker print on the bed and the black and red and then I also stuck some wood paneling behind the bed just to make it feel a little more dressed up because like with having no windows I I just wanted to do more interesting things with the wallpaper to make it feel a little bit better decorated more filled out in here because it does look kind of bland when you don't have windows in a room and you just have all of this wall space and then over here we've got a drum set and a guitar and just putting some posters up and unfortunately because I did that there wasn't really a ton of room to put a desk in because I also wanted to add that in but then I also wanted to add a dresser because I feel like that's necessary for a bedroom so I skipped having the desk and just put a dresser in because I didn't want to cram too much in because of course like in the sims 3 sims aren't as able to get around as easily so i just want to make sure they could still get around fine and i'm hoping i didn't place the drum set too close to the wall but i'll have to figure that out um anyway we are almost at the end of the building part of the video i will try to have a link up to download this i'm not sure if the exchange is going to work for me it should hopefully i can get a link but uh if i don't then sorry like i'll try to figure out some way to get this up for download but um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and leave off here so hope you enjoy the rest of the video